latest on Typhoon Mancut, which is still a very strong storm. By our estimates, 175 miles an hour, 900 millibars now, as of 4 a.m. Philippine time, September 13th. The storm is located at 14.2 north, 132.2 east. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they think it's even stronger at 180 miles per hour. We don't see much evidence of that quite, but it's a stage 10 on the CDPS scale, the highest possible rating. Right now it's 538 miles from Virac, which is under a Signal 1 warning, 729 miles from Santa Ana, 800 from Basco, and 753 from Manila. Signal 1 warnings are in effect for two provinces shown here, Tanduanes and Camarines Sur, as we get onto the island of Luzon. Signal 1 warning for those two areas. Um, some strong winds, especially gales, are likely along those coastlines. So these are what the models are saying, the GFS model over the next few days. The storm to track towards the west-northwest and a lot of models, if not most of them by now are predicting that the storm will make landfall probably as a category 5 on the northern tip of Luzon before proceeding through into the South China Sea and then going on to affect China, Hong Kong, Macau and eventually maybe on to Vietnam. Behind that you can see another system developing uh, which could possibly affect the same area afterwards. Sea surface temperatures haven't changed very much, they remain very warm all the way up until any landfall zones, around 29 degrees Celsius, certainly warm enough to sustain a storm of Mancut's calibre. And this is what we expect over the next few days from this storm, it's going to continue. Uh, the wind field is probably going to continue expanding, affecting pretty much all of the eastern coast of Luzon. That's why the signal 1 warnings are out already. Um, and you can see there the landfall and then moving into the South China Sea into the weekend and into early next week. Now the Philippine name of course is Ompong and this storm is uh, well known I'm sure already over there and it's going to be potentially a significant impacting storm on the northern coast of Luzon. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds, 54% at Vasco, 92 at Santa Ana, the same percentage at Apari. 17 at Kaohsiung, doesn't look like Taiwan will get most of this storm now, and 49% in Hong Kong who need to watch this storm closely as well. So models think that the storm is peaking, pretty much everyone thinks that the storm is peaking at this point, but maybe Mankut has other ideas, who knows, wind shear is going to be rising, uh, so that will probably put to bed any ideas that the storm is going to continue to intensify, we'll see. Sea surface temperatures though are going to rise later on as well, especially if the storm tracks further south as shown by the CDCX. Um, but pretty much all of those models taking it into a landfall and taking it into China to the west of Hong Kong and Macau. This is how the storm has actually been looking in the last few frames. It's been looking very impressive. Um, I mean, we keep saying that. And uh, what's more is that the storm continues to be jogging towards the west which is not what the forecast was anticipating and uh, if that continues much longer the forecast track is going to continue to shift south and we could be seeing tropical storm impacts across most of the island of Luzon. But we'll wait and see on that, we'll see if things change. That's all for now, stay tuned for more. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. And Force13's live coverage continues on its live feed. You can check that out with the latest information at youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.